Hey y'all, Henry with CompuCappy. We've got a video for you on how to do the SIM swap trick for Straight Talk on your iPhone. So you can get data and MMS working without having to jailbreak your phone. Now, here we go. We've got the brand new iPhone 5S. And actually this is the Verizon version which comes factory unlocked out of the box so you can use it on any GSM network. It's running the latest version of iOS 7. Okay, now this is what you need. Obviously, you need an iPhone. Uh, any iPhone will do. We'll work with this, and as I'm going to show you, it will work with the iPhone 5S as well. And you also need a T-Mobile SIM. You can pick these up for 10 bucks at Target. You need a SIM eject tool or a paperclip. Now, the, the SIM card I got was a prepaid card. Now, this is actually active on a account, but it doesn't necessarily have to. What we're going to do, and this is what I would recommend, especially if this SIM card is active with the phone number, is I would turn off iMessage and FaceTime. What happens is when you swap the SIM, sometimes iMessage or FaceTime will take on the number of the SIM. And register it and it's a pain in the butt to fix so I would do that first next take out your straight talk sim pop in the T-Mobile sim hit OK now almost immediately you will see here cellular and carrier cellular here shows that you can now get into cellular data network which allows you to change the APN settings now I would wait uh, a little bit for T-Mobile to lock on here. So it is searching. There it is. We got three bars and 4G. All right. Now what I would do is have something open like calculator, and then we're going to swap the SIM out again. So we're going to take out T-Mobile, put the Straight Talk back in. Hit OK. Now we want to wait again for it to lock on to some service. Uh, it could take a while and sometimes it will pop up as no service. Also, I do have the latest SIM card from Straight Talk, which offers LTE data now. And the settings are a little bit different from what we're used to. So now it says no service. Now what I'm going to do is just power cycle or put it to sleep and wake it up and it should search again. There we go, searching. Now it should lock on. So we're going to wait for it to lock on. There we go, we got three bars, 4G. Now what we want to do is double tap and go back to your APN settings. Should still be running. Here we go. Boom. Now we can edit the settings. The new sims from Straight Talk have new settings. Now this is the settings that you want to use. MMS-TF.net. For the proxy, get rid of it. And it is MMS3.trackphone.com. Message size stays the same. Now, up here, what we want to change this to is TF data. And then what I would do is copy it it has a tendency of changing back to phone. Now if you see if you scroll see it changed back to phone up here so let's paste that back in. Okay everything's good hit back back and you should be good to go. Alright so we've got MMS working and data working on an iPhone 5s running the latest version. Now let's try to go somewhere. Let's say let's go to ESPN. Boom. So data is working. You can see that we, we are not on Wi-Fi. It is on 4G. So let's try to go now to a message. Let's take a photo. Boom. 
and we will send this MMS. Now it is green, so it is showing that it is not using it as an iMessage. Boom, it worked. There you have it. How to do the SIM swap trick with an iPhone 5S on iOS 7. Guaranteed to work. Hey, like the video if it helped you out. Leave a comment or question below. And subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Peace out.